40, uh, 40 miles per hour winds. I say that thing, the wind is blowing. The wind blowing. This thing, this thing shaking, boy. So cool. And this is exactly why I go to the gym right now. Oh, what the? I think I can hold like 600 pounds on my legs right now. I'm trying to boost that up because of this bad boy here. Filled up my tank yesterday. And look, it's not even on the full. Oh, yes, it is. I was going to say, it's not even on the full market. It is. I thought when it touched the little dot dot thing. It runs a bit low, too, though. The RPMs is a bit low. Normally, it, a good idle is like right there. So, I mean, it's holding at like one. I could want to die out. But, we'll see. Oh, my paper don't fly off, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. And then, yeah. Whew. That cr them crosswinds is crazy. The crosswinds is insane. Man had a modular helmet with the wind blowing in his face. Sorry, I have to do full front, bro. My, my full front, <laughs> full helmet, cause I can't, I can't do the modular. It's like I like the modular helmet. Don't get me wrong, but the feature where you gotta pull it down, like I'm gonna get used to it for the summer. But right now. It ain't high ranking on my list. I like it though. Being able to go from a form like this to like open the shield and if that don't work, then you open it up full face. I see you. This the way the wind blowing. Woo! Crazy. Wind is so strong. All you can do in a crosswind situation like this, duck your body in. Try to tuck to your tank a little bit better. Any way to make yourself aerodynamic. Whoo! You don't believe that it's stupid Wendy out here? Look at that thing right there. Jeez. Stupid Wendy out here. Man. All right, I had the backers facing camera on, but then I said to myself, uh, we not gonna, uh, dang, nice one. So now nah, we not gonna go ahead and uh, we ain't gonna record that today. Not like that, cause, dude. Woo! Now they go one of them one wheel. It's got this thing where if the RPM is too low.
If the RPM too low, it stalls out. Which I'm alright with that. I don't think it got anything to do with the clutch because the clutch is pretty smooth. Damn, so I ain't got nothing to do with the throttle because the throttle, as soon as I turn this bad boy and it's snapping. So it's, it's telling me how many miles I got 58.7. So it's either telling me that or I gotta figure out how to change this trip. Really don't want to be on in the back of some pallets like that, but trying to not trying to speed bomb too much. Really don't want to be behind this thing because you know trying to trust that this guy strapped this down enough with 40 mile per hour winds ain't good enough for me because it can easily fly off and hit me in the damn face. And he just gonna keep going because that's just what people in cars do. And um, I'm just gonna have to deal with that with a pallet to the face. Like it won't kill me, but it damn so hurt like hell. So yeah, I'm okay with that. Pedestrian walk, sex. Getting used to having floorboards. That kid picked a bad day to be on a bicycle. Floorboards. So yesterday, I didn't show it, but I'll probably do a video on it, on slow uh, movements on bikes. So I was practicing doing U-turns, and I was practicing doing um, slow maneuvers. Because really, that's what gets you. It's not the fast maneuvers. If you can do something slow, you can end up doing it fast over time. So... And that's where I tried to get as comfortable as I could. Yeah, the floorboards on there. I wish, you know, one thing I do wish it had was the uh, indicator light as far as like shifting, blink, shift, blink. I mean, I think I could add one, but with such a small rev range, um, yeah, find myself shifting a lot. But that's that's pretty much that's that's like nitpicking. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty decent. Yeah, them crop guards hate me. One day I was doing like 20 miles per hour, and one of them was like. So then I I went slower. I I did what they said, right? Then the next one was like even slower to like a five miles per hour crawl and I'm like okay like I'm thinking that you know somebody in the crosswalk they slow me down for bro they was just slow me down and slow me down and I was only doing I was doing 20 through there so ever since then I just go by at whatever speed like and if I see them like in the road that's when I just stop because I know I already know what they on they already know what I'm on so we understand each other but you know, 
I'm gonna stop, but the people in cars, I can't control people in cars. They're gonna do what they do. You see, did y'all see that crosswalk person? And this is so crazy. I've been recording this whole time. Did y'all see that crosswalk person save that kid? That jump was wild. Okay. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, trying to catch me riding dirty. Like, I don't, am I supposed to like knee down? Before you leap, because on the sport bike, definitely gonna fix this damn mirror because I can't really see unless I like lean in a little bit. Eh. Now, that one right there, that one right there, perfect. Now, I snap, but this one right here, I just cannot see. Maybe I, oh, you know what? I could do this at the shop. Cool, that's what I do. Adjust my mirror. That's exactly what I do. Yes, sir. Mess, don't do it. Don't do it, baby. that ever get old to me but Lord Jesus I mean I gotta switch the gears cuz it get a little too rowdy up there it get a little too rowdy around four or five well five and six rpm that mug get the selling off So today, um, at school, um, is our final. So we learned, uh, basically in this class, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over everything we uh, learned in this module, which was brakes and suspension. <coughs> so like every week is a new module. <coughs> By the time you get in the, I want to say every month, but it, it might be every week. It's a new module. <laughs> so. <coughs> I'm gonna go over everything that I learned in this class for this month. This month and last last month together. Cause so they start in one month and then I like kinda end in the next month and then they start over. So uh next week, which is what February 15th right now, next week for me is transmission, so that leads on transmission, then I don't know what comes after transmission. We already did engines and we did uh, electrics. Uh, engine was great because I got to learn about the pistons and the boards and the valve spring covers and crank shaft and crank shaft pulleys and all of that. <sighs> Somebody calling me. Yeah, I can't pick up the phone while I'm on the bike, bro. I ain't figured out. I ain't got nothing Cena. I ain't been right with Cena since I crashed. So I can't I can't listen to music and I can't talk on the phone. Which, you know, um right off that, talking on the phone while riding motorcycle is a bad idea anyway.
can't see past the forward, so. Boop, boop, boop. What's up, John? You got a different ride. Yeah, I did. It's about time. <laughs> and it's got a car horn. This is crazy. Oh, it's a Yamaha Strata Liner. Deluxe. Eighteen fifty four. Do that to it. <laughs> I gotta fix the mirror. Uh -uh. All right, y'all. So I'm in a shop. I already fixed my mirror um, so some of the stuff that I learned in here is uh, this right here is the alignment machine so you can do caster toe on this machine right here you got both lifts this lift is specifically it's not specifically for trucks but I learned that long trucks extended trucks fit perfect cars typically go over there but they are working on the truck over there right now um, yeah so you go you hit one of these bad boys here i want to mix out and uh well this this app right here kind of helps it then you put in uh you put in what vehicle you have the year make and model of it throw these bad boys on there and let these lasers pick up on that stuff right there these different ones hold your tire so you got the blue for the smaller tires medium and then uh the let me see let me see oh i found this out like last week let's see if i can do it anyway they got some black ones they got some black ones and the black ones and the black ones are for trucks um let's see what else did i learn oh how to balance so this right here is the balance machine Put the tire on so we have different weights that these basically sit in your tire and your rim slide the rim on you press this button here and it can pick up the, the tire put that little weight on there whichever one fits your tire and put it on there spin it you got different weights for that then uh we learn how to resurface a rotor so if you want to know what resurfacing is this is resurface see how clean it is it's not all like dingy and messed up uh, from brake dust and uh, brake pads touching it right so they don't they don't really resurface rotors nowadays they just replace them but you measure the thickness of them you you uh, put it on here and it cuts it trims it down so it cleans it up it's neat. Uh, this is a mobile one so this one right here is the same machine. You just can wheel this, right? And another thing, tires. So taking the rim off the tire or whatever and you use one of these bad boys here, you gotta lube it back up and it makes it easier for the next person that's working on the car, putting a tire on. This little stick here takes out the tire valve. And we also learned about um, uh, drums. It's almost lunch time here. Uh, I'm part of the night time. I don't know if I ever told y'all this, but I'm part of the night crew. So, so right here, drum. Got the two shoes and the springs right here. Wheel cylinder here. 
and when you push out this adjust so this is the adjustment that's happening inside your drum so it's got these springs to hold it in so that's drums so basically we learned how to do that man and that's that's basically what i learned this whole entire time man and it's, it's been it's been great i'm only like four weeks in i think four or five weeks in um, 14 week course so uh the next is transmission so that's basically what i done learned man probably end the vlog here man i appreciate y'all spending the day with me um really didn't have no cars come in today not really doing any work on cars we can work on our cars or one of our students cars or whatever you know you bring car up here we also learned about this the wheel hub assembly but other than that that's about it gang you know always hit that like button subscribe thank you for spending the day with me you know what i mean y'all got to see big bertha number two um, i'm still working on the name because like i don't think big bertha is her because she really sexy but yeah all right y'all holla peace